Gemini, how are you? Gemini, thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate y'all's time and y'all's energy and y'all's love and y'all's patience. Like, thank you guys so much. I know I've been away for a minute, um, but welcome to your timeless message for the month of August of 2020. Um, this is for August. However, it is a timeless message, so it's going to be August and beyond. All right. So if it doesn't resonate to you right now, make sure you don't put too much you know, thought into it. Just come back to it later. All right. And see how it hits you then. OK, so Gemini, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. All right. We're going to first start off with your Starseed Oracle deck. Then we're going to move to the Moonology Oracle deck and then we'll go ahead and finish up with the Chakra Oracle deck. OK. Um, and this is going to be a strictly an oracle message, okay? So um, I just want to take a look and see what the energies are saying. Spirit, thank you for allowing us to be here to hear the messages that you have for Gemini. Allow it to guide them. Allow Gemini to see, understand, and interpret and be guided by the messages that you have here. At whatever time that Gemini has been guided to watch this, to watch this, what are the messages that that you have for Gemini? All right, Let's see, one more shuffle, then we'll go cut the deck and go forward. First card we have here, Earth Healing, card number 38. Then we have card number 31, Alchemical Mutation. And then lastly, we have card number five, karmic clearing so this is really really strong energy here okay gemini and i'm looking at the energies right now and i'm just saying that okay like this is what i feel like i feel like right now during this time gemini like this is um a lot of times excuse me a lot of you are going to be working through some pretty um gritty type of energies okay um it's gritty, but it's not necessarily bad. It's just the hard work that you have to go through, all right? Um, really, some of you are going to be more focused on yourselves. Um, you're not going to necessarily be focused on the things outside of you. Um, I don't feel like this is where you're going to... Uh, this is more like where a lot of you are going to be focused on the substance that you provide to... Um, the inner self of you, you know, not like the substances that you can get to satisfy, you know, the ego or the outside, like house, money, cars, not like that. This is more about the substance within, right? This is about you nurturing that Gemini. Okay. So right now, earth healing and alchemical mutation. So I really feel like Gemini, a lot of you are going to be clearing up some things from your childhood. A lot of you are trying to work through some issues from your childhood. Um, if you're a parent, I feel like a lot of the things that you're dealing with with your children may kind of mirror, uh, excuse me, may kind of be a mirror for the things that you dealt with when you were growing up and when you were, you know, being raised by your parents. So this is also where it kind of comes in with a karmic clearing. I, feel, I really feel like a lot of you Geminis, if you're parents, this is you trying to change um, the cycle. This is you trying to break generational curses. Um, this is about you trying to uh, say, okay, you know what, the things that occurred uh, when I was a lad uh, is not going to occur it's not going to happen to my children. You know, you, you're not going to allow those things. Okay. Um, this, and, and, and I feel like a lot of you kind of, uh, feel yourselves turning into your parents in a lot of ways. Even if you don't have children, it's just the way that you do things almost just kind of, you just turn, you just, like I said, you just kind of, you're, you're kind of turning into your, your mom and your dad here. Um, 
But at the same time, you're learning what your mom and your dad went through as you raise your children or as you uh, come into adulthood um, and, and deal with adult situations, okay? Um, but ultimately from that, I do feel like you do, you are, like you are being given the tools. Like this alchemical mutation card here, I just feel like that's just saying, I almost feel like, I know it's not tarot, but I just almost feel like it's like the magician card, you know, where it's like, um, where the magician card is saying that you have all the tools, right? This is saying that, you know what, you're going through a situation that is going to give you the tools to change yourself, okay? Or to pull yourself from adversity, all right? Or to uh, 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 heal something from within, right? There's going to be a situation that you go through that is going to allow that healing to begin, and you need it. It's about damn time. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some uh, clarity here from uh, the Moonology Oracle. All right. Let's get one more shuffle and then we'll cut the deck. We have full moon in Aquarius. Show the world the real you. We also have full moon in Leo. Don't let pride get in your way. All right. And then our last card <clears throat> is the void of course moon. Nothing will come of this situation. All right. So I'm looking at this and I'm really... Um, I'm really being drawn to the uh, the emotional side of what's being like. <clears throat> I guess I can feel like I, you know, we can see kind of what you're what you're going through here or what you're needing to go through here. But on an emotional level, I'm really feeling like you're torn in a way. Um, you want to show the world who you really are. Um, you want to, uh, you know, you want to. Um, see yourself with uh, the brightest, you know, like you want to see yourself with your, some of you, you want to see yourselves with your names and lights. Others, others, others of you is not that you just want, you just want to be noticed anyway. Some of you are just uh, emotionally um, feeling neglected. You want something or someone or some party or something like you want to be noticed by them. Um, but I, I'm, but what I'm feeling here is that you're not being noticed yet because you aren't really showing your true authentic self yet, but it's okay because that is about to emerge. All right. And I'm really feeling like, um, you just don't see it yet here. Uh, it, it's, it's not clear on how that's going to emerge with this, with this void of course, the moon there, um, it's not clear on how it's gonna kind of gonna emerge. Like we're still very much in the dark about how things are gonna take place. But what I do see though is I do see that when it does, it is going to have your. It's going to open up your mind to operate from a place of healing. Okay, and it's. I just keep getting. Um, dang, you know. That's why mama did something this way, or that's why my dad did something this way, you know? Um, and it wasn't to uh, glorify themselves as a parent or as a figure of authority, but it was because they were trying to be prideful in something. And now that you have, uh, now that you've come into adulthood, now you're understanding, um, you know, the pride behind, you know, work ethic or relationships, you know, um, and I think that it's, it's just about time, Gemini, you deserve to be able to show who you really are, um, and not be really worried about, uh, how people are going to feel about that, right? Because it's not about them, it's about how you feel, okay? But before you can do that, 
there's a, a, a certain healing that needs to take, take place. Ooh, excuse me. I'm a klutz here today. <laughs> but let's go ahead and pull from our chakra oracle deck so that we can take a look and see what spirit wants us to know about working through these energies. What the spirit wants us to concentrate on within ourselves uh, that's going to allow us to um, be in alignment uh, to work through these energies in a more efficient and calm manner. Okay. How can we do that, Spirit? Let us know for Gemini. All right. Let's get one more shuffle. message from Gemini. How can they work through these energies? Ooh, that's a lot. What is the clearest message for Gemini? How can they work through these energies? What is the clearest message for Gemini? What is the clearest message for Gemini? All right, looks like we got three cards. Right? The first card we have is uh, compassion. Mm, it's very heart chakra energy there. All right. We have home. Okay, coming right there in your base chakra, your root chakra. All right. And then we have insight. Okay. And that's right there in your third eye chakra. All right, so this is um, a lot. The, the the way that spirit is telling me this here, Gemini, is for you to best work through these energies is to one follow your heart, two understand where home is, or the message could be get things right with home, and then three we have uh, you know follow your intuition, you know um, be guided, right? Uh, what was it? Another sign? It was I think it was. Um, I can't remember. I think it was, uh, I think it was Virgo, maybe. Virgo was having um, a very ancestral experience with the things that they needed to take care of. Like, um, you know, a lot of the things that they were working through, they were being guided by their ancestors. Okay. Um, for you, Gemini, I feel like it's a similar situation, except for um, it's more of, uh, you know, the people that you're dealing with are, are still on this side of uh, of the ground, okay? Um, so, you know, you're, you're dealing with people at home, all right? Or you're dealing with some sort of home situation where you don't necessarily feel as though either you're recognized or that you're seen or that you're appreciated for who you really are, okay? And you almost believe it yourself, but as you work through those things, spirit is telling you, I'll make you a home. As you're working through those th things, spirit is saying, I'll give you uh, the heart space to have compassion for the things that occurred to you. When you or compassion for the people who were caught up in their own situations and, you know, led to the happenings of what happened before. OK, uh, you have compassion for those people and you'll have insight and some understanding into um, how things played out before or how things could be playing out now, all right? Um, and insight and understanding into who you are personally within your own self. Okay, Gemini? I love this message. I love this message for you guys. Um, and I really feel like you're right at the precipice of this with the full moon. Things are about to come to a head soon, okay? So if you don't know what I'm talking about, you may know soon. Some of you, you may already have experienced this and you know exactly what I'm talking about. And with that, I just 
I just want to wish you guys the best. And, you know, this definitely was not a bad message. Um, it wasn't necessarily an exciting message. However, it was not a bad one. You know, Gemini, you guys are just dealing with some, you guys are just dealing with some inner stuff. You're dealing with some karmic stuff. And that's okay. I mean, we all have to deal with it. We all deal with it. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and let you go, Gemini. But this has been a great uh, time to come back and talk to you guys and, and see what's happening with you guys. So um, let me know how this works out in the comment box below. I'm not doing personal readings at this moment. Um, it is a personal choice. However, uh, you will be getting regular uploads here. Okay. So Gemini, thanks so much. You guys, I just really appreciate the love. And make sure you subscribe, comment, share, like, all that. All right? Bye, Gemini.